Welcome to Power Yoga with Mark Gonzalez. These yoga-based workouts are designed to challenge and strengthen you from the inside out. Use them as a standalone workout or incorporate parts of it as a warm-up or cool-down to your favorite sport or activity. All yoga levels are welcome to participate, but due to its strength, flowing, and power movements, this workout is not recommended for those seeking a gentle, beginner, or restorative practice. Try to work through the physical and mental demands of your practice by cultivating a steady mindset free from comparison, judgment, or competition. Come into any resting pose as often as you need and jump in whenever you're ready. Please make sure you're uninterrupted for the next hour. Whether you're inside or out, a temperature between 72 and 80 degrees is best. Have your yoga mat set up and a towel and water nearby. We'll start today standing at the top of your mat, palms together. Let's begin. You don't have to do anything very special. You just uh, become aware of the fact that you are breathing in. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in. And breathing out, I know I am breathing out. And I enjoy my in-breath. I enjoy my out-breath. And suddenly I find that I am truly alive, truly present. And this, everyone can do. And it makes a big difference. Our uh, true home is life. And life is uh, in the present moment, in the here and the now. That is the address of true life. So mindful breathing can bring us back to our uh, true home, to life. And we should be able to do it uh, in our daily life. Take a moment to ground yourself, find your center, and on your next inhale, reach the arms above your head. Exhale, forward fold, hinging from the hips. As you fold, keep the knees soft, alleviate tension in the low back, and bring some light attention to your hamstrings. Roll up, come back to standing, and reconnect with a tall spine, all the way through the four corners of the feet. Find your center, and on your next inhale, reach the arms above your head. Exhale as you dive forward, allowing upper body to hang heavy, long neck. Bend both knees and take a step back with the left leg and guide the left knee down, gently on the mat. Inhale, lift the shoulders and chest above the hips and reach the arms up. Exhale, guide the hips forward, keeping the front knee above the ankle. Make sure the right knee stays above the right heel. Exhale, your hands down on either side of the front foot and twist as you reach the right arm up for a low lunge twist. Progress this pose by curling the toes of the back leg and lift the knee up. Keep the right knee bent and left hand down. Deepen the twist by looking up at the right hand. On an exhale, look down and step the left foot forward. Bend the knees slightly and inhale as you roll up to standing. Arms reach up and relax down in mountain pose. Again, inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold. Keep your upper body relaxed and your weight distributed evenly on the feet. Bend the knee slightly and step the right leg back, lower the knee to the ground and lift the torso up as you reach the arms directly above your head. Keep the shoulders relaxed onto your back. Exhale the hands down and twist to the left. Reach the arms up to open up the chest, creating a low lunge twist. Curling the toes on the right foot, send the heel back and lift the knee for a lunging twist. Looking down, left hand comes down and step the right foot forward as you fold. Slight knee bend as you inhale back to standing. Remember, use the poses as a guideline. More importantly, keep checking in to see how well you can stay lifted and stay stable from the inside. Exhale this time, but folding only halfway. Back is flat. Top of your head reaching forward, keeping your eyes on the mat below you. Press your weight towards your heels and arms out to the side. Maintain a flat back and bend the knees until your chest meets your thighs. 
Sit a bit deeper for your last breath before straightening the legs and fold forward. Bend the knee slightly and step the left leg back. Lower the knee in a slow lunge, hands down and twist as you reach the right arm up and activate the back. Most of the weight on the front heel side of the right foot. Lift the back knee up for a lunging twist. Both hands come down, square the hips and start to walk your hands up the right knee. Stabilize and find balance as you reach the arms up. Use the balance required in this simple high lunge to ease and quiet the mind. Exhale, bring the hands down. Back knee finds the mat. Shift your weight onto your hands and reach the right leg towards the back of your mat. Keep it parallel to the floor and reach the left arm forward. Exhaling round the spine and use your core, left elbow and right knee touches. Inhale, lengthen away. One more time, exhale, crunch the elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend front and back. Hands, knees and feet onto the mat. Inhale yourself up to down dog. Index fingers pointing forward. Keep the knees slightly bent at first if you find this pose challenging but keep the heels off the floor, even if you can extend your legs all the way. Knees come down, hips back for child's. Sliding your chest forward, inhale, as you bring the shoulders, chest, and heart up for Cobra. Exhaling, forehead down, hips pushing back for child's pose curling the toes and lifting up for down dog. Hug the thigh muscles tight to gently lift the kneecaps upward for support. Extend the right leg up behind you. Hips stay square to the mat, waking up the core muscles. Exhale, hug the right knee towards your chest and shift your shoulders above the wrists like you would in plank. Inhale, extend back to three-legged dog. Reach the right leg high, exhaling, activate and hug the knee into the chest. Exhale, lift the leg back up as you push the mat away, shoulders extending. Release that right leg down, other side lifting the left leg up without opening the left hip. Exhaling, crunch the left leg in, rounding the spine, inhale back to three-legged dog. One more time, hugging it in, shoulders above the wrist, inhale, open up to three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot in between your thumbs. Reach the arms up to open up the chest, creating a low lunge twist. Looking down, both hands down and square the hips in line with the left thigh. Stay on the ball of the back foot, find your balance as you lift the torso Shoulders right above the hips. The left knee stays bent as you extend the arms above. Exhale, hands down for support as you step forward, folding. Inhale, slowly lifting back up to standing, making sure your head is the last thing to lift up as you roll up and reach. Exhale, relax the arms in front. From here, bend the knees and sit your hips towards your heels. Leaning forward just enough to counter the weight behind you as you sit. Make sure your knees, heels, and big toes are pressing against each other for balance and stability. Prayer twist to the right, exhaling the left elbow outside the right knee. Keep your weight on the heels of the feet. Exhale to find a deeper twist. Consider taking your gaze over the right shoulder while maintaining balance. Looking down first, release the hands down and step the left foot back using a big step. Keeping the front right knee bent, arms reach up for high lunge as you inhale. Exhale, look down and place the hands next to the right foot. Swing the right leg back as you push the mat forward with open palms and lift the right leg high for three-legged dog. Inhale as you open the hip. Shoulders stay square to the mat as your belly faces directly to the right. Close the hip and exhale, crunch your right leg in. Exhale, extend back to three-legged dog and open the right hip upward once again. Exhale, close the hip, 
and knee back in. Inhale even higher back to three-legged dog. Ground down with palms open wide. Step the right foot forward. Make sure the foot is directly below the right knee. Once you establish proper alignment here with the right leg, reach the right arm up, lunging twist. Guide the left knee to the mat and inhale your torso up for low lunge. Lean your hips down toward the front heel. Hands come together, lengthening the spine here. With a big exhale twist, brace the left elbow outside the right knee. Prayer twist. Pressing down on your front right heel, keeping the twist, pick up the back knee. Challenge your balance here by taking your gaze upward over the right shoulder. Go ahead and look down towards the mat and step the back foot forward right next to the front. Seated prayer twist. Keep the right shoulder away from the ear, chin away from the chest. Looking down, release the twist, brush the fingertips to the floor, reach the arms up, biceps close to the ears, thighs coming as close to parallel as possible. Exhale to stand, reaching the arms overhead. Interlace your fingers behind you and fold forward, sending the fist up and over your head. Extend the arms to keep from slouching the shoulders and guide them away from shrugging towards the ears. Bend the knees and sweep the arms up. And while the arms are extended, shoulder blades should be resting on your back. Engage your lower abdominals and tuck the tailbone under, lessening any hyperextension in the low back. Bring your palms together, exhale twist to the left. Both knees are perfectly aligned next to each other, hips pressing down towards the heels. Glance at your toes, release the twist, Hands come down to the mat and square the shoulders with the hips and take a big step back with the right foot. Arms up for high lunge. Bend the left knee and sink the hips straight down. Keep extending the right heel back to open up the right hip flexor all the way down through the right thigh. Bring the hands back to the mat along with the right knee. Float the left leg back and create distance between the opposite arm and foot for bird dog pose. Exhale, pull the left knee and right elbow underneath to touch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, engage the core, rounding the spine. Inhale, extend. Exhale, a crunch. Inhale, think about reaching past the front and back of your mat instead of upwards with the foot to keep from arching the low back. Release both hands and knees down. Curl the toes and send the hips up and back for down dog. Your head should be relaxed, but don't let it just hang. Keep them between your upper arms. Inhale to plank, knees down. Shift your torso slightly forward a bit before you inhale to up dog. Make sure wrists are directly below the shoulders. Extend the neck long, re-bend the elbows, bow the forehead close to the mat, and push the upper body and hips backward to your heels to rest briefly in child's pose. Inhaling back up to down dog. Strong base of support with the hands and feet. Floating the right leg up for three-legged dog, bend the knee to the raised leg and open the hip this time, creating a deeper opening up through the hip flexor and abdominals. Keep lifting the knee as you arc the right leg over, reaching the toes over to the left shoulder. Inhale, extend back to the three-legged dog, squaring the hips to the floor, and relax the foot gently back to the mat. Taking the other side, lift the left foot up as you inhale, rotate, open the hip, and bend the knee. Undo the hip opener so your belly faces the mat. Inhale, lift the left leg even higher, raising it from the glute. And exhale, step it forward for a low lunge. Back knee is on the mat, arms reaching high. Low lunge twist. Exhaling the palms together, find a twist. Inhale into the ribs, find more length in the spine and the neck. Press your weight towards the left heel and inhale as you lengthen the spine. Exhale as you deepen the twist. Keeping the twist, curl the toes behind you and float the back knee up. Press the right heel back, strong thighs creating a solid foundation for your twist. 
Looking down at the left foot, take as little steps as necessary to step the right foot forward next to the left. Keep the twist and press the elbow against the knee and use that to separate the upper body off the thighs. Exhale, let go of the twist. Keep the knees bent. Inhale, the arms up for seated chair. Keep your gaze on the floor in front of you to keep a long, neutral neck. Press down into your heels and come to standing. Find length with your body. As you reach the arms up, exhale, forward fold, letting your body hang. Bend the knees a lot so your palms can meet the floor and either step or jump both feet back lightly into a soft, high plank. Inhale yourself up to down dog. Bring the knees down, press the hips back, and lengthen in child's pose. Slide the chest low towards the hands, and when the hips come down, open the chest and heart to the front for cobra, inhaling the neck long. When you're ready, come back to down dog. Take a second here to notice any changes in how this pose feels now throughout your body, finding more comfort and absorbing the entire pose with each breath in and out. Coming into three-legged dog, raise the right leg up. Sinking the following movements with your breath, exhale the knee in into the midline, shifting your weight forward. Shoulders above the wrist, inhale it back to three-legged dog. Exhale the right knee out this time towards the right elbow, lifting the right shin and thigh activating the glute. Inhale to three-legged dog. Exhaling the right knee crossing over towards the left elbow, core is really tight, hugging the right knee up into the torso, Inhale last time back into three-legged dog. Exhaling, lower the leg and find your down dog. Inhale into plank, core lifting to prevent the hips from dragging. Bring the feet side by side and place the right hand in the middle of your mat, right below the chin. Shift your heels to the right onto the outer pinky side edge of your right foot. Keep pressing the hips away from the mat and balance on your right hand, looking down for balance. You can modify this pose and make it easier by lowering the right knee down for support. For a greater challenge, lift the top left leg parallel to the mat, both abductors of the outer hips working to create distance between the ankles. Releasing the pose, look down towards the ground, lift the left leg high for three-legged dog. From here, taking the opposite side of our dynamic ab crunches, exhale the left knee into the midline and inhale back to three-legged dog. Exhaling the left knee out to the left elbow this time. Inhale the left leg back to strong three-legged dog. Exhale once again, taking the knee across to the right elbow. Last time, back to three-legged dog. Extend that leg high before relaxing it down to the mat. Inhaling to plank, bring the knees together, preparing for side plank, placing the left hand on the midline of your mat. Take the heels to the left and stacking your ankles, then the hips and shoulders. Balance on your left hand and start to reach the right arm up. You can modify by placing the left knee down to ease the pressure off the left wrist or challenge yourself further by lifting the right leg parallel to the mat, chin away from the chest, Maybe taking the glance upward for your last breath here in side plank. Releasing, look down and come to plank. Lift the right leg high for three-legged dog. Even the weight between the two hands and left foot. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Warrior one, your left heel comes down. Foot pointing about 45 degrees towards the left corner of your mat. Right knee stays bent as you inhale to lift the torso. Arms reaching high, point your belly button straight to the front, feeling the stretch on the front of the left hip and thigh. Rotate the body to the left, reaching the right arm forward, left arm back for warrior two. Make sure the right knee bends and stays above the right ankle. If not, adjust the right foot accordingly. Exhale, lean to the right, bracing your right elbow against the right thigh as you reach the left arm up for modified side angle. Inhaling back to warrior two, bring the shoulders above the hips and go ahead and sink them down, creating heat while your legs engage strong. The side bend the other direction for reverse warrior, bracing the left hand on the outer calf for 
thigh of the left leg, reach the right arm up and over toward the back. Inhale back into warrior two for a moment before we straighten the right leg for triangle pose. Hinge forward from the right hip, keeping the right leg straight. Place the right hand on the shin or ankle and extend the left arm up. You can challenge the core and maintain the posture by opening the right palm. Look down, bend the right knee and place both hands on either side of the right foot. Sweep the right leg back into three-legged dog. Keep lifting and walk your hands towards the left foot for standing splits. Lift the right leg as high as you can and take your gaze to the back, releasing any tension in the neck. Playing with your balance here, challenge yourself and grab your ankle with your left hand, maybe both hands. Stay rooted on the left foot, let the upper body melt over the standing leg as you continue to lift the right foot high. Bring your hands back to the mat and walk them forward to three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward, chest off the thigh, lift up to a high lunge, balancing with your toes curled behind you. Palms come together in front of the sternum, bow forward, maintain a flat back as you push gently off the left foot, balancing for warrior three. Extend the crown of the head forward and reach the left foot behind you long. Reach the arms towards the back foot behind you and engage your lats. Press the shoulders away from the ears here. Keep looking down for balance. Start sweeping the arms to the side like airplane wings and begin to reach them forward, biceps by the ears. Keep the standing knee slightly bent and energize from the core outward to maintain a steady, even posture. Bend the elbows and bring your hands to the hips. Take a breath and without the left foot touching the ground, Come to standing, bring the left knee up in front. Find your center, standing tall evenly across your right foot. Exhale, extend the leg back to warrior three as you bow the chest forward. Once your upper body and left leg is parallel to the floor, reach the left arm forward as it becomes an extension of the left leg reaching behind. Coming into half moon, stabilize the right leg and reach the right hand onto the floor or block directly below you for support. And while keeping the left leg extended parallel to the floor, begin to rotate your shoulders and hip to the left so your belly button faces the side. Make sure the toes of the standing leg are facing straight forward towards the top of your mat with toes relaxed. Keep your head neutral, chin away from the chest, and gaze either on the mat, to the side, or upward slowly to maintain balance. Imagine your body and limbs mimicking a pane of glass, staying as flat as possible. Lightly stepping the left foot back, bend the knee, creating warrior two. Reach both arms over and down to the mat, step the right foot back to plank, stabilizing the shoulders above the wrist and re-ground yourself to the earth. And without moving the torso, neck or head, inhale the right knee to the left elbow. Place the foot back to plank and other side, left knee, right elbow. And then other side, right knee crosses over to the left elbow. Left knee towards the right elbow. The last variation, taking the right knee out to touch the right tricep. Step it back and try it on the left side. The left knee towards the left tricep. Keeping the core and arm strong, lower down to a low push-up and lift the torso high for up dog. Distribute the back bend evenly through the whole spine. Exhale, release your torso on the mat and push back to down dog. Take a few deep breaths here. So to walk your hands back towards your feet into a forward fold. If you have tight hamstrings, keep your focus on elongating the front of your torso as you fold forward to encourage a deeper stretch for the backs of the legs. Place your right hand down in front of your toes and place your left hand on your hip. Start turning your torso to the left, feeling the stretch on the outer left thigh. To deepen the twist, bend the right knee slightly, but keep the left leg straight. Go ahead and look down first, and then switch to the other side. Left hand down, right hand to the hip, and twist. Make sure the right leg is extended, but without locking the knees. 
Grind the shoulders away from the ears as you reach the arm up, chin slightly away from the chest. Guide the shoulder away from the ears, gaze down, and release the twist. Go ahead and walk your hands back to down dog. Check in here to see if you notice any changes happening within your body. Use your breath to explore this new space, relaxing into every new moment as it comes along. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward for warrior one. Take your back heel down, lift the shoulders and chest, and extend the arms above. Retract the shoulder blades down the back. Left knee is bent, sink the hips, and gently rotate the torso to face the front. Keep the pinky sided edge of the right foot down. Widen your stance and step it a bit forward and to the right if you have difficulty pointing your belly button to the front. Inhale, open out to warrior two. Feeling the inner thighs lengthening, gazing out towards the left fingertips. Exhaling for easy side angle. Left elbow on the thigh, reach the right arm to the front, palm down. On your next inhale, reach the right arm back, lifting your shoulders above the hips for warrior two. Exhaling, reverse warrior, flip the left palm up and reach it back. It should feel like a side bend here, creating space between the left side of the ribs. Continue to reach and lift out of the low back. Inhale, come back to warrior two briefly before transitioning to triangle. Unbend the front knee and hinge into the left hip as you reach the left arm forward. Maintain the length of the spine and lightly place the left hand down on your shin or ankle, bracing your torso. Opening the right shoulder up behind you. Keep opening here as you reach the right palm up. Continue expanding through the fingertips. Look down, re-bend the left knee, and bring yourself up to high lunge. Release the back heel off the ground. Hands come onto the hips, come to high lunge. Relax the hips and shoulders here towards the mat. Energy through the fingertips, gazing in front of you into the horizon. Exhale, hands together, bow forward without resting the chest on the thigh, standing on the left foot, lift up to warrior three. Keep the shoulder blades retracting towards each other, strong flat back. Make sure the hips are squared to the mat and aim your belly button to the floor below you. Start to reach the arms back, palms facing up, shoulders away from the ears, and keep the back to the neck long. Keep the arms laterally to the front and keep extending them past the crown of the head. Strong line of energy from the tip to your fingertips all the way to the toes of the right foot. Bring your hands to the hips and come to standing on the left foot. Lift the right knee up and stand tall as you reach the arms up. Exhale the hands in front of the chest, bow forward and reach the leg back again for warrior three. Next, use a strength in your core, hips and low back to maintain your balance as you extend the right arm forward. From here, extend the left hand to the floor and circle the right arm up, stacking the right hip over the left, belly button facing the right for half moon. Keep the right leg active, raised behind you, but be careful not to lock or hyperextend the legs. Most of the body's weight should be supported by the standing leg, the left hand is just there for support and to maintain balance. Eventually, you work towards strengthening the balancing leg as you decrease the reliance of the hand on the mat. Coming out of the pose, look down to the mat and as gently as possible, reach the right leg back to go to warrior two. Circle the arms down and step the left foot back, sweeping it up for three-legged dog, extending the arms. Then start walking the hands to your standing foot for standing splits. 
Elevate the left foot as high as you can. Playing with balance here, taking the right hand to the ankle or both hands. Elongate the neck as you press the forehead towards the shin. Use your hands initially for support, but gradually bring the weight to your standing foot. Guide the forehead towards the shin of the right leg and try to take your gaze off the mat and instead behind you past the leg. Bring your hands back to the mat and then walk it forward to down dog, lowering the left foot. Inhale to plank, slowly lower down, low push up position. Inhale up dog, shoulders directly above the wrist and away from the ears as you secure the shoulder blades firmly on the back. Elongate from the neck, chest, abdomen, and hip flexors. Exhale, relaxing the torso and forehead all the way down to the mat, belly down. Reach for your toes and interlace your fingers right above the low back. Hold onto a towel or strap if you find it difficult due to tight shoulders. Begin to lift the hands off the low back and actively reach the fist to your ankles. Use the strength in your reach to guide the shoulders and sternum off the mat. And as you inhale, project the chest forward. To progress, extend and lift the legs, engaging your glutes to float both feet up off the mat. Keep the big toes turned towards each other as you inwardly rotate the thighs to support the low back. Here, we're in an effective pose that's great for strengthening the back, legs, and arms, and a great warm-up for deeper back bends. Exhale as you release and relax everything down. Place your hands underneath the shoulders and push yourself back into child's pose. Resting here and bringing comfort to the low back as you reach the arms to the top of the mat. On your next inhale, find your down dog. Beginners will find this pose tough at first to maintain due to tight muscles and joints, but be patient. Eventually, this pose becomes a rejuvenating stretch, and for power yoga, it's a great resting pose. In down dog, go ahead and inhale, bend the knees, sitting back towards your heels, but keep the knees off the mat. Stay tight in your core and keep the low back from hyperextending. Inhale your hips back up to down dog. Exhale, bend the knees again and hold. Sit back towards your heels, look up towards your hands, and with control, lightly jump or step your feet between the heads, folding at the top of your mat. Let the head be heavy to facilitate the bend. Inhaling as you come back to standing, extending the arms above, this time clasping your hands behind. Expand the chest open. Exhale, fold forward and bow, lifting the fist up and over your head. Start bending the knees, chest coming onto the thighs, bring the weight to your right foot, balance on it, and take a big step back with your left. Finding your balance, shift your hips back slightly to guide the right knee over the ankle. Go ahead and lift yourself up, but keep reaching your fist towards the back heel, maybe taking a slight back bend. Reach both arms up to realign the spine in high lunge. Exhale, open the arms across for warrior two. Adjust your stance as needed to get a deeper stretch through the inner thighs. Arms parallel to the floor as you look past your right fingertips. Exhale the right hand down inside the right foot, using a block if you need more height. Side angle pose. Press the outer edge of the left foot down to assist the stability and length of your side bend. Release facing your torso down, bring both hands to the mat, left hand next to the right foot. Reach your right arm up facing the other direction for twisting lunge. Fully extend through the left heel and finish off the pose by activating the right palm as you reach it high. From here, looking down, place your hand in front of your right foot and push off the left leg and float it up, balancing on your right foot. Your left hand is there for support as you twist through this balance. Your right arm continues to extend up as you reach the crown of the head forward. Left toes pointing back. Keep the breath calm and invite stillness here through this twisting balance. Look down at your left hand and bring both hands down. Square the shoulders to the mat and without letting the left foot touch the ground, bring your hands to the hips and use an inhale to come up to standing, swinging the left knee up. Stand tall here and take a moment to gently hug the knee to bring relief to the hamstring. Exhale, use your left hand to guide the knee outward, maintaining a tall spine. And stay here unless you want to progress further, reaching your left hand inside the arch of the foot and extend the leg out to the side. If your hamstrings are tight, you can use a strap or towel wrapped around the foot to assist you in this progression. Keep your balance and guide the left knee back in front of your right hip and hold it here. Bring your palms together, reach the arms up and extend through the fingertips. 
Extend the leg forward for additional challenge. Stay tight through the abdominals and continue lifting the leg upward without leaning the torso back. Bring your hands back to the chest, rebend the left knee and step the left foot back for warrior two. Exhale, reach the right arm up and over, reverse warrior, keeping the right knee bent. Inhaling, passing through warrior two, go ahead and lean to the right side for side angle pose. Placing your right hand inside the right foot as you exhale. Use your right tricep against the inner right thigh and guide the knee outward. Continue lengthening through the left side and reach the left arm overhead. Pause here, engage your abdominals, keep your torso steady, and see if you can reach the bottom arm forward as well. Hugging your head with both arms, palms facing each other. With a big strong exhale, lift your upper body back to warrior two. Pressing down through the right heel, the right knee stays bent and reach the left arm back. Exhale both hands down inside the right leg this time for a deep lunge, bringing the back knee, elbows, and forearms on the mat. Let go and relax deeply as you sink the hips and relax the upper body to the mat, deepening the stretch. Use long exhalations to encourage a deeper stretch into the hips. To deepen the stretch, curl the toes on the left foot and extend the leg to lift the back knee up. Go ahead and guide the hands back on the mat, lift your torso up and bend the elbow slightly. Coming into an arm balance, brace the inside of your right knee securely against the right tricep. With arms bent, flex the right foot off the mat to the right. Stay here or continue bending the elbow so the triceps are parallel to the mat, supporting your body weight on your hands. Lean forward towards your fingertips, taking the weight off the left foot and consider floating the left leg up. Engage your core strong and press the elbows alongside your body for additional support and breathe. Exhale, place the left foot down and push the right leg up and back for three-legged dog. Bend the knee and open the hip, reaching the right foot over to the left side. Keep reaching and opening through the hip flexors and abdominals. Being mindful of shoulder injuries with the next pose as we invert our dog, stepping the right foot across behind the left knee Feet are side by side, exhale, press the hips up with your glutes and reach the right arm over to the front to assist in the back bend. Make sure your left shoulder stays above the left wrist. Coming out of the pose, look over your left shoulder and take the right hand down to the mat. Continue rotating your belly button back to face the floor and lifting the right leg up. Exhale to down dog, inhaling to plank, lowering down, low plank, inhale yourself up to up dog, keep opening and projecting the chest upward, shoulders relaxed, going to recurl the toes, passing through low plank to find down dog. From here, bend the knees, sit towards your heels and step or jump your feet floating to the top of the mat. Exhale, extend the legs, forward fold. From here, draw a long inhale as you roll up back to standing. Taking that sequence through the other side, hang in there and continue to use your breath as guidance. Inhale the arms up and clasp behind. Shoulders relax, exhale, fold forward. Expand the heart open to deepen the fold. Bring your thighs parallel by bending the knees. Push your belly on the thighs. Keep your palms together. Shift your weight to the left foot and take a big step back with the right leg. Start to lift the chest and shoulders above the hips. Maybe finding a slight back bend here as you take your gaze forward, reaching the fist back. Maintain your balance by connecting into your core center. Release the clasp and reach the arms up for high lunge. Relax the palms of the heart, bringing the right heel down, extend the arms for warrior two. Exhale into side angle. Anchoring the outer pinky side edge of the right foot down as you reach the right arm up. Encourage the left thigh to go parallel to the mat to deepen the stretch, making sure the left knee stays above the left ankle. Remember, use a block here if necessary to assist your body into proper alignment. Take both hands down and square the hips and shoulders to the mat. 
Bring the right heel up, stay light on the fingertips and place them on the hips. Keep extending from the right heel all the way through the crown of the head. Extend the long as you exhale. Keep your back flat, engage your entire midsection as you lift your hips above the left ankle for warrior three. Extend the right leg back and point the crown of the head forward. Soften the standing knee to help your torso align to the mat. Stay lifted in the shoulders by gently squeezing your shoulder blades together as you continue to bow forward. From here, inhaling to standing, point the right knee forward, standing tall. With your weight directly above the left ankle, keep your weight evenly on the left foot. Balance here or play with the following variations. Use the right hand to guide the right knee to the right. If you want to progress this balanced posture, reach for the inner arch of the right foot and extend the leg. Remember to use a towel or strap to assist the leg extension. The left arm is free to keep your balance. Release the foot, re-bend the knee, and guide it back to the front. From here, reach the arms up and strain the right leg forward in front of you, using the strength in your right thigh and core to hold the right foot up. Extend the leg forward for a few breaths, taking the palms back to the chest. Inhale, re-bend the right knee, and exhale, take a big step back, creating a warrior two. The shoulder comes above the hips, back leg long and stable. Reach the left arm up and over for a reverse warrior, stretching the intercostals of the left ribs, filling the left side elongate. Keep the left knee bent, inhale, transitioning through warrior two to come into side angle placing the left hand inside the left foot, reaching the right hand up high. Easing the left thigh to come parallel to the floor, holding the leg steady here, create a strong wide foundation. Reach the right arm over to the front, and for an additional challenge, floating the left arm forward as well. Keep opening the right shoulder behind you as you open the chest to the side. With strong active legs, take a big inhale back up for warrior two. Circle the arms over to the mat and square the shoulders over the thigh in a lunge position. Reach the right hand on the floor in front of you. Place your left hand on your hip. Balance on the left foot as you exhale, pushing off the back leg, lifting it up. Use a block to assist you if you need additional help balancing on the left leg. Try not to rely on too much pressure with a balancing hand as you stay light on it. Continue to stabilize with the core and lift through the left arm and right leg. Twist the shoulders to the left for a reverse half moon. Keep extending and reach the left arm up, maybe taking the gaze with you. Stay light on the fingertips. Deep breaths here as you keep extending and reaching the right leg behind you. Looking down, release the pose and bring the fingertips to the floor. Step just the right toes down and inhale the arms up for high lunge. Lengthen up to the base of the spine all the way through the fingertips. Inhale, expand from the sternum as you open the arms across the chest for warrior two. Exhale, rotate the arms over to the front and place them inside the front foot. Inch your left foot to the edge of the mat and guide your back knee down. Relaxing the hips, upper body, elbows, and forearms onto the mat. Lengthening through the right thigh and left hip, gently press the hips towards the elbows to deepen the stretch. Keep the forearms down, lift the back knee, and sink the hips deeper to the floor for additional stretch. Find some stillness here as you relax deeper into the hip stretch. Releasing, place your hands back to the mat. Preparing for an arm balance, place your left hand next to the foot and brace the inner knee against the tricep. Start to bend the arms as you flex the left foot off the mat. Stay here or take the arm balance, shifting your weight forward, balancing your body weight on your arms, creating a small lever 
to float the right leg off the mat. Make sure the elbows are squeezing into the midline and activate the whole posterior side, similar to Cobra Pose to keep the head and feet off the mat. Release the pose by stepping the right foot down and push back to three-legged dog. Pressing the hands firmly on the mat, open the hip. Continue elevating the left knee higher and consider inverting your three-legged dog, stepping the leg behind, face the toes back and reach the left arm overhead for flip dog. Right shoulder stacked above the right wrist, pressing the glutes upward with your heels. Releasing the pose on flip by looking over your right shoulder to the mat. Untwist the shoulders. Both hands come down and extend the left leg up for three-legged dog. Exhaling, place both feet down into down dog. Inhale in plank position. Lowering down for upward facing dog. Extending the legs, tops of the feet and thighs firm on the mat. Releasing, bring the forehead to the mat. Preparing for bow pose, bring your heels to the glutes, reach back and grab your ankles. Exhale, use your legs to draw the shoulders and chest up. Knees stay hip width apart and inhale, use your strong legs to lift the feet away from the glutes. Maybe lifting the thighs off the floor. Keeping the neck long by tucking the chin slightly, continue breathing into the back of your body. Use the strength in the glutes, hamstrings, and muscles of the mid and upper back to lift. Maintain a strong, steady breath as you gaze down at the mat. Slowly release back down to the mat. Bend the elbows and guide the hands underneath the shoulders and push back into child's pose as you point the toes. Reaching forward here, hips back, lengthen the upper body down the mat to alleviate tension in the low back. When you're ready, sit on your heels in hero pose, kneeling in a comfortable position. Close your eyes right here in hero pose. Connect your focus back into your breath as you take a moment to recenter and ground yourself. So how to nourish the roots of who you are? You have a mind, you have an emotion, you have a body, but all these things are functioning only because your life energies are functioning, isn't it so? Fortunately, it's not in your hands, it is happening. So these life energies are constantly making you tick and happen. And that's what you need to nourish. If you make your life energies properly balanced and in full vibrance, your body, mind and emotion will be in its best possible condition. So there is a whole science and technology as to how to do this. It is this technology that is referred to as yoga Yoga is the science and technology of nourishing the roots of your existence so that everything else naturally flowers. Keep your gaze soft, open your eyes and lift your hips up to a kneeling position. You can pad the knees and shins for comfort if necessary. Kneeling tall, inhale the arms up and exhale twist to the right. Continue reaching the right arm back, left arm forward, Coming into a half camel, activate the glutes forward as you reach the right hand back for your right heel. Keep pressing the hips forward and reach the left arm overhead. Your neck should feel neutral, neither flexed or relaxed. Exhaling back to your twist and inhale the arms above. Exhale, relax the arms and slide your hands down the mat for child's pose. Knees should be hip width apart. Coming back to a kneeling position, inhaling, extend the arms up, and exhale, twist to the left. Half cam on the other side. Your left hand reaches for the left heel and arch the torso, following it through with the right arm up and over. Stay lifted off the low back by pressing your hips forward and engaging your glutes. Make sure your breath remains fluid and can flow naturally. Inhale, the arms back up, and exhale, bow forward into your mat for child's pose. When you're ready, lift yourself back into a kneeling position for full camel. 
Inhaling both arms up. Continue lengthening up the spine as you place both hands on the heels, arching the back. Activate the thighs and glutes fully. Press the hips forward. Continue pressing your shins and feet firmly on the mat to come out of the pose. Slightly tuck the chin and lift your head and shoulders above the hips. Inhale the hands high and exhale melt the chest back down to the mat for child's pose. Moving on, curl the toes and lift back up to down dog. Taking a few breaths here, noticing the energy pulsating throughout your body. Let's keep the hips high, soften the knees, you can gently lower the elbows and forearms to the mat for dolphin. Feet should be hip distance apart. Press the heels down and lift the tailbone away from the pelvis. Neck is relaxed, but keep the head off the floor. Inhale the right leg up and pause. Exhale, engage the core and lower the leg back down. Inhale, left leg up this time. Exhale, gently lower the foot back down. Walk the feet back and bring the feet together. Lower the hips to dolphin plank. Keep the shoulders right above the elbows and prevent the belly from sagging, so draw the belly up. A healthy back is created with a strong core. So preparing for some ab work, inhale the left foot up, exhale, bend the knee outward and touch the left tricep. Inhale, extending back, keep going, exhale to the tricep six to eight times. Using the obliques to hug the knee in a few more times, inhale back and exhale in. Then extend the feet back to dolphin plank. Next, bring your right forearm parallel to the mat and shift your heels to the right to balance on your right forearm. Continue lifting the hips up for dolphin side plank. Bring your hand to the hip, perform six to eight hip drops. Keeping the body aligned, hips forward, left shoulder back. Inhale the hips down without resting on the mat. Exhale, lift the back up. Modify by holding side plank for a few more breaths. Release by looking down, place your left hand on the mat and push up to plank. Exhale back to down dog, hips high. From here, coming back to dolphin, forearms down to the mat, press the elbows forward. Inhale, lift the right leg up, and this time open the hip by bending the knee. Exhale, engage the core and lower the leg back down. Other side, lift the left leg high and open the hip. Feel the connection between the grounding left elbow and the lifted left knee, and expand. Exhale, extend the leg up, and lower it back to the mat. Start walking the feet back or elbows forward to lower the hips to come into dolphin plank. Core is fully engaged. Taking the other side, lift the right foot up this time. Exhale the right knee to the right tricep, using the right obliques. For six to eight reps, exhale the knees in. Inhale, extend it back out. Work on increasing the range of motion in the hips here. Shoulders stay stable the whole time. After the last one, bring the feet together and place the left forearm parallel to the top of the mat. Open to the right foot dolphin side plank. With your hand on the hip, from here taking 6 to 8 hip drops to further work the arms, shoulders, and abdominals. Keeping the hip over the hip, shoulder over the shoulder, it's optional instead to reach the right arm up and hold. To release out, place the right hand down and push up to plank, exhaling your hips high for down dog. Get ready for a last vinyasa, inhaling to plank, lowering down, low push up position, inhale upward facing dog, lower the shoulders down in line with the elbows, holding low plank for 4, 3, 2, 1, exhale pushing back to downward facing dog. Go ahead and bend the knees, hips towards the heels, looking forward, jump or step the feet between the hands and exhale as you forward fold. Go ahead and bend the knees, lowering yourself down to sit on the mat, have a seat and extend the legs in front. Maybe use this time to take a sip of water and towel off before moving on. Sitting really tall, reach the arms above, 
and exhale forward fold as you press the heels forward. Stay here for a few breaths. If you can't reach for the outer edge of the feet, use a strapper towel wrapped around the bottom to assist in a deeper bend forward. Inhale here as you lengthen the torso. Exhale, release into the fold. Use an inhalation to lengthen the spine and an exhalation to deepen the stretch in the muscles of the legs and low back. Keep extending the top of the head to the front, past your toes. Releasing, rolling back up to seated, bend the knees upward and place the heels by your hips. Hands should be behind facing forward Inhale, press your hips up and bring your knees forward from the heels. Continue opening the chest and front of the shoulders as you engage the glutes and lift into this reverse tabletop position. You can point the top of the head back if you like, but make sure you can still breathe comfortably. The knees don't have to touch, but activate the inner thighs and guide them towards each other. Make sure the weight is on the heels, shoulders are directly above the wrists, and exhale as you expand the chest. Releasing, tuck the chin and slowly lower the hip back down to the mat. From here, crossing the right foot outside the left knee for a seated spinal twist. Your right hand comes down behind. Inhale, reach the left arm up for a tall spine. And exhale, place the left elbow outside the left knee, keeping both sit bones down as you rotate. Make sure the bottom of the whole right foot is down firmly on the mat. Lengthening the outer right hip, glute, and IT band here. Maybe playing with a progression here as you reach the left arm through for a bind. You'll discover that some progressions require strength, while some test your ability to relax the muscle. Inhale tall, release the twist. Sweep the right leg to the back of the mat, keeping the left knee bent for seated half straddle. Sit tall and extend the arms out. Exhale, side bend over towards the straight right leg to the back of the mat. Placing the right elbow inside the right thigh, reach the left arm over to the right foot, making sure the left glute maintains contact with the mat. Keep opening up through the chest, maybe taking your gaze up underneath the left arm. Inhale back up, sitting tall. Rotate the shoulders to face the top of your mat for pigeon. Place your hands in front of the left shin and lift your hips off the floor. Position that shin parallel to the front edge of your mat, being careful of the left knee. Extend the right leg back behind you, top of the right thigh on the mat. Inhale, lengthen the spine tall. Exhale, fold over the left shin, walking your hands forward to rest your forehead on the mat. Hips stay square by keeping the left hip off the mat and continue reaching the arms forward, relaxing the torso completely to the mat. Pigeon helps to release tension in the piriformis, a deep hip stabilizer which often causes pain when it's too tight. Those with sciatica often feel relief from this deep hip stretch. Keep extending the fingertips forward and the right foot back. Notice the gentle rise and fall of your torso as you continue to breathe deeply and relax here. Stay present and use a conscious awareness of your breath to come back if you find yourself drifting. Gently coming out of the pose, walk your hands back in, lifting the shoulders up. Sit on your left glute, leaning to the left side, and sweep the right leg back around to the front. Keeping the knees bent outward, place the bottoms of the feet together near your pelvis, and while sitting tall, exhale, twist to the right. Placing the right hand behind you, left hand outside the right knee for support as you twist. Inhale, release, facing the front. Sitting tall, exhale to the left. Using the left hand behind you this time to maintain a long spine. Inhaling, releasing the twist back to neutral, facing the front. 
Sitting tall, elevate the arms above and forward fold for a stretch in the inner thighs and hips. Use a block or folded blanket if you find it challenging to take the knees out when you rotate the hips. Sitting on a block or blanket is also helpful when you need guidance to sit tall. When you fold over, you may find it easier to take the heel slightly forward away from you. Maybe use the elbows as you fold over to gently guide the knees down to stretch the inner thighs deeper. Try not to round the shoulders and maintain a long spine as you hinge forward. Keep the outer edge of the feet on the mat, shoulders pressing firmly down on the back and lengthening the torso over the ankles. Hands can clasp the tops of the feet or ankle. Continue breathing deeper into the fold as you reach the crown of the head forward. Releasing, rolling back up to seated, guide the knees to the point up, placing the feet on the mat. Bring the hands behind, coming back to a reverse tabletop again, exhaling the hips up. Press the heels down, making sure both feet and fingers are pointing forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades to open up the chest. Exhale, slowly tuck the chin and guide the hips back down. Crossing the left foot over the outside of the right knee this time in preparation for seated spinal twist on the other side. Inhale the right arm up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, twist the right elbow outside the left knee. Press the elbow against the outer knee or thigh on an exhale. Check in to make sure the right sit bone stays down as you gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale tall, releasing the twist. Lean to your right and sweep the left leg around to the side as you face the torso to the left. Inhale the arms out and exhale the right arm over to the left leg for a half straddle side stretch. Using the left elbow against the inner thigh to open the chest and rotate the shoulder behind. Use the left elbow against the inner thigh to open the chest and rotate the upper right shoulder behind. Look underneath the right arm towards the sky and keep reaching the right arm over as you side bend to deepen into the stretch. Inhaling back to neutral, turn to the right and place your hands over the right shin. Lift your hips up and position your right shin parallel to the top of the mat. Stay upright here, extending the left leg behind, exhaling bowing forward for pigeon. Resting the body weight on the calf, staying relaxed. So in yoga, the beauty of this type of practice is learning the balance and distinguishing when to fully engage certain muscles, but also when to relax and go passive, especially under stress and tension. And this sophistication, muscle activation, and relaxation provides great benefit off the mat. This is a great place to tune into your body, breathing into places that are tight and need attention. Take a moment to explore and listen to the sensations your body is communicating. Without feeling the need to respond, just acknowledge it and keep listening. Exhale slowly walking your hands back in, guiding the shoulders back up. Sweep the left leg around to the front with your knees bent, 
and feet on the mat, hug your knees as you round the spine. Inhaling back up to a tall spine, reach the arms forward. Sitting tall, lean back, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Tucking the tailbone under, engaging the core tight. Back of the head is the last thing to touch the mat. Go ahead and hug the right knee in. Start extending the leg, walk your hands up towards the ankle, keeping the shoulder blades on the mat, lengthening the back of the leg. Use a towel here for assistance in reaching the foot. Make sure the upper body stays completely relaxed. Back of the neck, head, and shoulders relax onto the mat as you gently tug to stretch the back of the lifted leg. Rebend the right knee and use your left hand to take it across for a gentle spinal twist. Continue to twist upward by looking over the past right shoulder. Inhaling the knee back up, go ahead and give it an easy tug in before switching legs. Take the left knee in and extend the right leg down the mat. Start to straighten the left leg up to the sky and reach for the calf or ankle, keeping the shoulders relaxed down. Bending the left knee, take it across the right for an easy spinal twist. Be sure the left shoulder doesn't lift as you rotate. Finish the twist as you look over your left shoulder and inhale the knees back up. Hug the shins before placing both feet on the ground, coming into a bridge pose. Arms are along your side, place your feet as close to the hips as possible and inhale lifting your hips up. Keep pressing the inner feet and arms actively on the mat. Lift the tailbone towards the sky, shoulders and neck should remain calm, chin slightly away from the sternum and shoulders relaxed. Exhale to release, come down, rolling the spine slowly onto the mat, one vertebrae at a time. Bring the soles of the feet together, knees out briefly to relieve pressure off the low back. On your next inhale, bring the knees back up for another bridge or coming into a full back bend, your choice. So for full backbenders, place your hands by your ears, all fingers pointing to your feet, extend the arms to lift the head and shoulders off the mat. Press your heels down and engage the glutes to lift your hips up, keeping the shoulder blades hugging firmly on your back as you straighten the arms and legs. Keep the arms and legs parallel, upper thighs are hugging inward, allow your head to hang, neck relaxed, and breathe as you feel your abdominals lengthen. Exhale, tuck the chin and slowly lower the shoulders, upper, middle, and lower back to the mat. Reach for the shins and hug the knees. Bring relief to the low back by circling the knees four times clockwise. Then four times counterclockwise. From here, exhale, guide both knees to the right and reach the left arm in the opposite direction, looking out past the fingertips.
coming out, inhaling the knees up. Exhale to the other side, looking over the opposite right shoulder. Bring the knees up to neutral, back above your belly. Happy baby pose. Grab the inside arches of both feet. Both ankles are positioned directly above the side of the knee. Shins are perpendicular to the floor. Create resistance between the hands and feet here, which helps lower the sacrum and low back to the mat. Relax the neck. Go ahead and close your eyes and feel free to rock side to side. Keeping your eyes closed, Hug your knees one last time to neutralize the spine from all the flexion, extension, and rotation in your practice. Take a big exhale and release by lengthening yourself completely down to the mat. Turn the toes out, both feet lengthening towards the corners of your mat, palms face up by your side, and soften the low back. Shoulders comfortable away from the ears. Allow yourself to sink restfully on the mat. We're going to take a few moments here for total relaxation as we quiet the physical body so you can soak in all the benefits of your practice today. Witness the automatic rise and fall of your breath as it comes in and out of the body. Trusting that the work is done and letting the process of balance unfold as you lay here. Look at our evolution of our consciousness from subhuman to human to divine. And so as we look at that, it's not enough perhaps just to try and be truthful. That's challenging, of course. To not only try not to harm another, to practice nonviolence, but to get to a point in our evolution where even the thought of harming another is inconceivable, where that deep sense of interconnectedness and interdependence becomes so predominantly clear that it creates a shift in our own behavior and perhaps collectively as well. And that in its, in essence, is the heart of the practice of yoga. Bring your attention back to your body, wiggle your toes and your fingers to gently awaken. Reach the arms over your head and take a deep breath.
Go ahead and place your feet on the mat and give your knees a hug. Releasing rolling over to your right side, pausing here for a moment in fetal position. Keeping your eyes closed, use your hands to lift yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. Taking three deep breaths to close out your practice. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Inhale, fill the belly up, let it expand. Exhale, release it completely. Last time, inhale. Open your mouth and release, exhale. Thank you for your continued dedication to your health and well-being. Namaste.